Yes, and Fieldnerve's lost it. Incredible. Fieldnerve, 360 degree spin. Jones manages to avoid him and goes through and takes the lead. Fantastic. Alan Jones, and that's not Fieldnerve behind him there, that's Nelson Piquet. And Villeneuve's got going again. He's still in the race, he's still in second place, but there's a new leader, and it's this man, number 27, Alan Jones, winner last time and winner the time before in Austria and in Germany. Now on his way to an almost unbelievable hat-trick for himself and four wins in a row for the Saudi Williams team. 47 laps completed into lap 48, 75 lap race, Alan Jones leads. That's Villeneuve again. He's done it again. And look at the near side rear wheel tyre. He's at Tarzan and he's thoughtfully looking at the back of the car. Up comes his visor. What is he going to do? He's, he's starting. He's, he's spun the rear wheel right inside the tyre, back onto the circuit, throws mud and dirt all over it, and that's not good. And he's getting going. He's got a whole lap to go before he can get back to the pits and now you can see the incredible shape of the rear wheels on modern Formula One cars like gigantic aluminium cotton reels. And this is hardly believable. Villeneuve with a ribbon of rubber and nearly losing the car altogether. He's on three wheels and the whole of the near side rear suspension must be dragging on the ground and that won't be doing it any good at all. He's out of Hugenholz now. He's up towards the Hunzerook and he's got all the top bit to do, round panorama, round boss suite, before he can get into the pits and see the speed he's going. Oh, off flies a bit of rubber, bit of a Ferrari souvenir for the thousands of Dutch spectators who pour onto the circuit. And it looks to me as though the Ferrari is in real trouble as he comes into the chicane. There's Piquet past him, and look at that, Sparks, he's on two wheels, not three wheels. And the whole of that near side wheel, rear wheel, is ripped off the suspension. It's dragging behind the car like a broken limb, and still Villeneuve motors on, determined to get back to the pits. And look at the offside front wheel right off the ground as the rear drags, and it's a miracle that the car isn't catching fire with all those sparks flying from the skirts and the near side, and he's doing doing a wheelie as he goes down the straight there and how incredibly difficult it must be to control the car with one steering wheel and one driving wheel on opposite sides of the car passed by Hector Rebark, passed by Jackie Ix there goes Ix to start another lap with Rebark behind him and into the pit lane comes Gilles Villeneuve now, what's going to happen? They surely cannot possibly mend the car. There's going to be uproar in the pits, when he, and the Ferrari pit is right at the, this far end of the pit. There's Forgeri, the Ferrari team chief, with the yellow stripes on his jacket. What's he going to do? He waves his hands, trips up over the airline, taps the suspension rear link with his foot. The race is over. Get out of the car, Gilles. You've had it. And Gilles Villeneuve does that. Enormous congratulations for the little French Canadian. His team practically adore him. He's got an enormous amount of guts and he's proved it yet again. Because just remember that last lap wheel banging contest he had with Arnu in the French Grand Prix. On goes the cover to hide the broken remains at the rear of the Ferrari. And that is Jody Schechter up now into second place from 16th in the other Ferrari.